Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from Synthize to Blender and also we will see 3D camera tracking in Synthize. So let's start the class here. So this is Synthize default interface. So first we have to import our footage or sort. Then we have to click on file. Then new and just select your sort or image sequence. So this is a sort folder. So just we have to select the starting frame. Then we have to click on open. And then after this you will get this window from this window if you want you can also select your required frame rate so this sort just type exported on 25 fps so this time going to select the 25 fps then we have to click on ok so now downside you will see so synthize will automatically catch this footage in ram so now just we have to play and just check so this is a sort here so this sort just we will track then we will export this camera track from synthize to blender so first just click on the starting frame here so this is synthize default interface so on top of if you will see there are many tabs here so mainly just we will work on some important tabs here so first this is summary tab then second this is tracker step where just you can create manual tracker and just you can track this sort then solver after creating your track point then you have to solve your camera so this is solver tab and finally just we have to orient scene then we will use the 3d tabs here now again just we have to click on this submit tab so now first just time we have to track this sort so for this simply just we can click on this big auto button so this will automatically first track this sort then this will also solve our camera now just we have to click on auto so as you can see this progress so now our tracking is completed and also just i am getting this camera solve here now after solving this camera this will automatically switch into this solver tab here so as you can see now we are inside this solver tab here then left side you will get this camera solve error or deviations value which is 0 0.70 so this is good here but suppose if you want to improve this camera solve then simply you have to click on this track then in clean up trackers then we have to click on this fixed now just i am going to improve our camera solve so in this uh, automatic drop down just we have to select this refine options now just we have to click on this go so you can see this improvement still uh, if you want to improve well, then again you have to click on track then clean up trackers so now just i am going to reduce this higher trackers value here just make it maybe six now click on fix then again we have to click on go now just you can see huge improvement now again one more times make it maybe four now fix then again go so now just you can see improve i think this is sufficient here now just i have also improved my camera solve now just we have to play and just we have to check out this sort so this is our camera solve here so and just i'm getting all these 3d points here and this is i think placed on our these locations here so just you can see there is no any slipping on these things so first area just save our project then we have to click on file then save then you have to select your folder so just i'm going to select this folder and simply just you can give your file name or project name then we have to click on save so now after this time going to orient our scene and also just we will create some test geometry so for scene orientation just you have to click on this 3d tab so now we are inside this 3d tab here so in this 3 tab mainly just we will get four window here the first window just time getting the top view then front view and this is left view and this is our camera view here so if you want to adjust this window then simply just you can adjust even you can click here and just you can adjust this one here so as you can see all these things here click hold middle mouse button then you can scroll zoom in zoom out then hold middle mouse button you can pan middle mouse button scroll then you can zoom in zoom out same in this summary view you can also do so middle mouse button scroll then you can zoom in zoom out then hold middle mouse button then simply you can pan now come inside this 3d tab here so just i am looking through this front view so this is our front view 
is it top view so now suppose if you want to orient your scene so just you can use all these three parameters this move tool then rotate tool then scale tool for scene scaling for to adjust scene scale but uh, before adjusting your scene you have to also click on this hole so this will adjust your entire element which is inside this scene so if you will not click this hole so this will actually adjust it into just parameter maybe if you will select this camera so this will adjust camera only then this point also just you can select so this will adjust only this point so but if you want to orient your scene so just you have to use this hole means entire scene so just click on this hole now suppose little bit if you want to rotate then you can take this rotate tool and just use the rotate scene so just you can see this one go to this layout and just you can select this quad perspective so in this quad perspective so these are our actually same view here but downside now just we are getting this perspective navigation pan view here or perspective view here so just simply we have to lock this camera now just we are looking through this camera in this view i am also getting this grid so just you can see this grid i am going to define some points on about this ground so easily just we can find where, wherever where is our ground but uh, in this uh, video or in this footage if you will see this ground is not flat so you can see so some portion this portion is going a little bit down here so carefully just we have to find points on about this ground or floor okay so remember this one so this is totally depends on your sort so just we can select this lasso trackers so just you can select all these points so just for indications here so from this front view just you can also see this one so these are actually point and this point which is just below this so these are actually front point whichever these ones here which is little bit below from this points here okay so just you can see so you can also see from here so even if you want you can also just assign some color on this selected point so just click here and just we can assign maybe this point and just we can click okay now if you click here so you will get all these color coding so it reaches we can uh, if you are going to adjust your scene so it reaches you can see so now first little bit just i am going to rotate this scene so just we can select this move tool hold just we have to select and just we can move this entire scene so just you can see this one even little bit if you want to also rotate then you can take this rotation tool and just you can adjust Then again, take this move tool. So maybe just you can see from this view also. Just you can see. So like this, simply just if you want, you can just also orient your scene. Now I think this is sufficient. So again, click on this hole. Now just I'm going to play and just check. So simply just you can play and just you can check. Now just you can see. So now I think this is just uh, properly just I have oriented over this scene. So now after this just I am going to create some test geometry. So for this just first I am going to create a plane. So just we can take this plane. Then we have to check this magic band and just we can create a plane. Then you can take this move tool. And just individual is and just individual geometry just you can adjust from this view you can also see now just we can play and just check so now suppose only if you want to view this geometry in wireframe mode then again you can click on this mesh then just uh, solid mesh just you can untick this one so now just only I'm getting this wireframe mode here then if you want you can just switch this quad view here then you can click on this again mesh and hide this one here solid mesh so easily just we can see all these things here now suppose if you want to adjust maybe this uh, this suppose if you want to adjust size then you can take this scale tool and just you can adjust this plane size so you can here absolutely plane then you can take this size and just you can reduce this size so in x y g
So same as suppose if want, you can also just create this wall here. So just you can find some points on over this wall. So just simply just you can maybe I think these points. So maybe here I am getting these are actually points here which are on this side wall. So this one also just you can see. So again just you can create another geometry. Just you can take this maybe again plane and just you can create. Then after this, just we can take this move tool and just we can move at required positions. So now just we have to play and just we have to check. So now just you can see remaining things just you can adjust all the geometry may position all these things. So if one you can adjust this one here. So now after all these things, just I am going to export this camera track for Blender. So first layer again save as our scene, then click on File, Save Scene Edge, and just we can just define maybe as a version two. Now just I am going to export this scene for Blender. So for this, just we have to click on File, then Export, and just we have to select this Blender Python script here. Then select your folder. So we have selected this folder. So then save. Then we have to click on OK. Even if one, you can also export in alembic format. Then you can import alembic file inside Blender. So now just I am going to export in alembic format. So again export. Then you can select this alembic options here. This one. Now just we have to select alembic two. Then we can save. Click on save. Even if you can also define your sequence starting frame here. Now we have to click on OK. So now first we just save our project. Now just I am going to import this camera track inside Blender. Now we are inside Blender, so simply we have to click and just we have to delete some default items here. So just I am going to delete this light, select and delete, and also this cube. But remember this one: you have to keep this camera. Because first, I am going to import our Blender script file, which just I have exported from Synthes. So for Blender script file, you have to keep this camera. Otherwise, maybe this will create a problem while you are going to import your tracking data inside Blender through Blender script file. So now, just I am going to run our script. So just we have to click on this scripting, then open and just select your file. So this is our file which just I have exported from Synthai. So just we have to select this script file. You can see this .py file. Now you have to click on open. Then you have to run this script. So in this uh, 3D view perspective, you just you have to see now run a script. So now if you will see, so just I have exported over this Synthai camera tracking data inside Blender. Now just click on this layout view. So then you can select this camera view. So just we can play and just we can check all these things here. Now, just we can see. So, simply just I have imported but this synthetic camera tracking data inside Blender. Then, after this one, you can also just check your frame rate and frame size. All these things here. So, just you have to click on this output. So, this is frame size. Then, this frame rate. So, this will automatically select the 25 fps on which just I have tracked the shot inside synthetic. And this is your sequence range or image sequence range. So, or just we can adjust this one. So we can play and just check. Even if one, you can also hide these relationship lines. Then you can click on this overlay, and you can hide all the relationship lines. So now, just you can see. Then after this, just I am going to create some test object. So just I am going to create a cube. Then click on add. Then mesh. And just create a cube. Now just. Press tab, go to edit mode, then press G, then Z, then hold control and you snap on this grid. Now again we have to press tab. Now press S for scale. Then we can scale this one. And then just I am going to move it here. Now press G, Y, and just we can move. Now again just we have to look through this camera. Now again press G. Then we can we can press X and just we can move and just we can check this. Camera quality here. So now we can play and just we can see. So now just if you will see, 
So this 3D object is just placed into our this scene here, and this is just matching with our this camera movements here. So now suppose uh, if you want to place this object maybe at this position or maybe at these locators position, so how you you can place? So simply just you have to hold shift and just right click on these locators. So this will move this cursor. Then you have to create a duplicate this object. So press shift D. Then you can place it here. Then right click on this object. Then go to this snap, and then you can select this selection to cursor. So this will automatically move at this position here. So as you can see, so because actually this ground is not flat, so just properly just move to place at this position here where is actually this ground. So anywhere just you can place your required objects. So now just you can see. Again, select this one. Oh, now I just go to this side. I just I am going to move this one. So as you can see. So like this, simply just you can import your synthesized camera tracking data inside Blender. Think even same as if want, you can also import your alembic file. So again, just create a new project. Don't save now for alembic file. Just you can delete all the default items. Now press A and just delete. Then before importing uh, your LMB file, so you have to also check this frame size and frame rate. So this is again important things here. So you can see 9 to 1080 frame size and frame rate. So if you will not select this one, so this will not match. So now here I have not selected. So just we have to check this one. So now just we have to click on import and just select this LMB file. LMB file and just select which you have exported. Now just type import it over this camera tag so as you can see and just maybe just delete this big plane here. So these are actually geometry which just type created inside uh, Synthia so as you can select and as you can delete. There is no any requirements. There is no any and even that you can also just select this big plane delete this one here. And now again if you will click on this camera view so now if you will see so just type import it then you have to select this camera. And just you can connect your background plate or image footage. Select all file, press A, then open. Now just we have to play and just check. So just you can see. And also just little bit we have to adjust transparency. So this one. Yeah, delete this plane. So now again just uh, we have to check this camera quality again. Hide all these relationships line. So now here if you will see, so maybe these points little bit it's floating or slipping. So just you can see, just you can focus in these points here. So now if you will see, so these are actually sliding. So it is as you can see, this is due to frame rate. So again, just you have to click on this output and just you have to select your frame rate on which just you have tracked your sort inside synthesis. So you have selected 25. So now if you will, again, if you will play as a check. So now if you will see again on the same point so now these are not floating and these are matching here so like this if you want you can just also import your element file inside blender then after this just you can create any test object and just you can do remaining things according to your requirements here so guys till here i have completed for this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching